Hello, welcome to Guides the Unknown. I'm Kristen. And I'm her little brother, William. And this is our 250th friggin' episode. We are halfway to a thousand on this bitch. That's not true at all. It is true. Halfway to a thousand, 250, as we all know. Uh huh. As we all know, that is how numbers work. That's right. And we are going to be pitting monster v monster today. <laughs> yes, we will. Sorry, I don't know why I got distracted. <laughs> Uh, I know that doesn't equal a thousand. I was making a joke. Incredibly, yeah. I don't. I in our in our Facebook group, the the our secret society Facebook group, Facebook.com/slash/groups/slash/gttupod. Yep. A listener named Finn Doyle has been running a series of polls for weeks. For weeks. Maybe for months. Perhaps. Pitting different topics, mostly monsters, against each other. Mm -hmm. Things that we have covered on the show before. And what they did, they lined it all up so that it would culminate in today's episode. Yes, they did it with like a 250th episode celebration in mind. Um, and we just thought it was so cool. We decided to use what they have created yes. for this episode. So Will and I are going to look at some of these pairings, discuss them. And, you know, maybe take take a monster each and plead their case. Sure. And it should be really cool. And so Finn created this just for fun in the group. He Like, they didn't say, oh, I, I hope that you will do an episode about this. They ju did it just to, for the love of it. They did it for the love of the game. Yeah, for the love of the game. And we couldn't help it. We reached out and let them know that we wanted to do it. And they so graciously sent over helpful material so really finn doyle finn doyle is the founder of the feast that and is thank true. you so much finn uh today is possible because of finn doyle this concept is because of finn doyle yeah and honestly i was building out brackets right uh because i had to go through all the facebook posts and it's hard to find them all and as i was doing it finn sent everything all the data that i needed the best. so in a million for a million reasons thank you finn and thank you, everybody who participated in the polls. I know yeah. a lot of people may not even be on Facebook. So just thank you to everybody for sticking with us for Guide to the Unknown for 250 episodes. I know. Five years of talking about monsters and horror. Yep. And uh, today uh, we celebrate. Yes. In Guide to the Unknown's mega monster madness. That's right. So um, I, I broke out the everything thusly. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to be doing this first stage. This is going to be everything. There yeah. are 64 different uh, monsters that are part of this. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to start here with the road to the semifinal. Great. And uh, our first battle pitted. And this is all giving you the results of things that already happened yes. on Facebook. Yes. But we can discuss a little bit. The first pairing, Black Eyed Children v. Pennywise. Right. Now, um, one of the original ideas that we had for Guide to the Unknown five years yeah. ago was going to be every episode, Kristen and I pick a monster and we make them fight. Right. And try to play out how would this battle uh, culminate? Would there yeah, be a winner? Yeah, we would each winner? pick a player and kind of plead their case. And so uh, Finn picked up on that from the Wizards or something, because it's a perfect way to celebrate a milestone episode. Exactly. But so Black Eyed Children v. Pennywise, what are your thoughts? <laughs> uh, you know, I know that Black Eyed Children are supposed to be not of this world. Yeah. But there's a ferocity to Pennywise. And, and, and Pennywise isn't of this world either, by the way. And Pennywise going up against children. He loves I to murder kids. Loves it. So I think that Pennywise would eat them for lunch. Okay. What I mean, I, I think that I would have to agree with you. Although okay. the children are not real children. They're monster children. Even so, they're they're in a bite-sized package. Yeah, He's yeah, going to yeah. chomp, chomp. Well, let's see what people decided. Okay. The Black Eyed Children won. And okay. not only that, but we've got the stats. Yep. 88% black eyed children pennywise only got 12 percent of the vote he's out right done william you've created amazing artwork for this he's done for the rest of the competition i gotta tell you if, if you don't usually watch our episodes i would recommend going for this one it's youtube.com slash gttu pod will has like full powerpointy graphics and it looks awesome you should have just said will has full power oh no never that's correct never um, but yeah, no, I, I, because of the brackets, I was like, this would be a fun way to visually represent everything. So I've got all of our monsters. I've got all of our battles yes. all the way to the end, all oh, the way William, to the number thank one. Thank you so much. Yeah, of course. All right. So battle two pitted mm -hmm. spring heeled Jack against gray aliens. Right. Now this does feel like it's 
a very obscure <laughs> like Springfield so Jack no I one should, knows. We should say I don't know if if we necessarily articulated this. Um, Finn went through our back catalog and chose things that we have covered before right. and then sort of just random generated mix match two against each other. That is right. So that's how this kind of weird pairing came up. I, I believe I voted for spring Heeled Jack. You are. I have information on this. Yes. Um, you did vote for spring Heeled Jack. Mm -hmm. um, and I think you consistently throughout a lot of this, I think that you have a tendency to vote for the underdog or like a cool idea. Because this is a popularity contest is what's yes. happening right here. So, of course, I'm going to give the results now. Right. Aliens handily just defeated spring Heeled Jack. Sure. 68% to 32. No, almost right. no one knows Spring Heel Jack, but right. you gave him some love at least. Well, I loved Spring Heel Jack. Yeah. So that, that was like one of my favorite things that we've covered, actually. That's right. Yeah. Um, yeah, Spring Heel Jack is like a, a very early one. Mm -hmm. Guide to the Unknown 14. Yeah. I've got. Um, all right. Next up, we've got Will o the Wisps, the Chupacabra. Aha. Uh -huh. Now, this I think is actually a really good pairing because. I think they're the Will the Wisp is I would say the underdog. Yeah. Most people know the Chupacabra, right? So yeah, I guess so. They must love them. Right, right. Um, Just give a prediction. Who do you think? Oh, my predict, my prediction. See, here's the thing. I my normal prediction would be Chupacabra, but knowing our audience. And also how much we talk about how awesome we think the Will of the Wisp is. I have gone ham on the Will of the Wisp over the years. Right. It makes me wonder if they might sort of lean similarly. So I'm going to, I'm, mm, I don't know, but the Chupacabra is fun. And also we have the Chupacabra homepage. Yep. I'm going to say Will of the Wisp. Let's. Will of the Wisp okay. did indeed take it 60% 60, to 40%. 40. And nice. I, I have the stats here. You and I both did vote for Will of the Wisp. Mm -hmm. um, all right. A battle for the ages. <laughs> We've got Michael Myers from Halloween versus the Yeti. And I, I picked the, ba the I was going to say Baskin and Robbins. <laughs> what are their names? What? Who did the claimation Oh, Rankin movies? Bass. Rankin Bass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah the, the, the jokey Yeti is yeah. what we'll put on the screen. So who wins? Uh, a giant uh, murdering psychopath shark uh, who seems immortal and he's got a butcher knife? Or Michael Myers. Kristen. William. Joke doesn't even make sense. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think Michael Myers. <laughs> Let's see. Yep, 85% okay. of the vote. The Yeti is out. Yep, The bye Yeti bye. is destroyed. Yep. Adios. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so our first round losers, the people who are no longer in contention, are yeah. Pennywise, spring -Heeled Jack, Chupacabra, and Yeti. Goodbye. We'll miss you. So now we move up to the next tier of this particular bracket, Black-Eyed Children versus Gray Aliens. Hmm. Let's see. And the Black-Eyed Children themselves, there is something alien about them. Like, I feel like there's yeah. an argument to be made that they may not be of this earth. They are unnatural themselves. I think that that's what the general consensus is. But popularity-wise... They're alien. How do people feel? I think that Black-Eyed Kids might be the hot pick. I'm going to go Black-Eyed Kids. And you're correct. 76% okay. yeah. against 24% for aliens. So, right. three to one. People are into the black eyed kids. Yeah. Keep I feel bad that you can't guess on any of this. Um, I might as we go further, because I okay. just may not remember. Okay. Um, but we've got Will of the Wisp v Will of the Wisp v Michael Myers now. I'm gonna base this on the landslide victory that Michael Myers had over the Yeti. Yeah. He won with eighty five percent. I'm gonna go Michael Myers. And you lost. Okay, but that's <laughs> close. 50, it was very close. Fifty two percent to to 48 in favor of will the wisp yeah you're 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 absolutely right it is it, like bizarrely close yeah. almost. uh and so now which one of these two is going to get to the semifinal? we've got black eyed children versus will of the wisp hmm i still think black eyed children and you're right okay they win. so black eyed children go to the semifinal. <laughs> they are the road to the semifinal. they are yeah <laughs> they are. They, they've they've won but they're but let's see who else will be uh joining them mm -hmm. in the end Next battle, zombies versus Bloody Mary. I don't remember. Okay. I don't remember. What do you think? What's your guess? I would have to say, I think I would expect zombie. No, I would expect Bloody Mary. Yeah. Because I think that zombies are like hyper popular and people love mm -hmm. Walking Dead and, and like they've been persistent is really my right. point. But I think that people have a fond spot for Bloody Mary. Yeah. From their childhoods. 
And she's more of a figurehead. Right. Zombies are spread out. Even if they're a juggernaut concept, you don't think of like a zombie. Yeah. Bloody I think Mary. That's true. Is it's singular. Somebody that you can get behind. Yeah. A candidate. Right. <laughs> what do you think? I think Bloody Mary for m- many of the same reasons. Let's find out. Okay. We Bloody were right. Mary. Bloody Mary, 72%. Takes nice. It. Uh, now we've got the Boogeyman versus Robert the Doll. <laughs> Huh. I feel like I feel like this is the case. I'm not. Do you want me to look at my notes to give you answers? I feel like you might have been the only one. I feel like you voted Robert the Doll. I think I did too. Yeah. Um. I really like Robert the Doll. But uh, the, the Boogeyman kicked off episode one and is yeah. like, like the Boogeyman is horror. Yeah, but you know, not. I don't know. I, I don't know if the Boogeyman is like such a a hot thing like you're right that the concept of horror is perfectly tied up in the boogeyman but it's not like people are talking or thinking about the boogeyman all the how time how could it get bigger than the boogeyman people don't talk about the boogeyman though I not don't. that i'm saying they talk about robert the doll but it's not like i wouldn't say that when i think of horror i think of the boogeyman how could i be the only one out here talking about the boogeyman <laughs> <laughs> well a couple of years ago in the outsider People were talking about the boogeyman a little bit more. That's so. true. That was great. All right, but anyway, uh, I I think that it's the boogeyman. All right, let's find. What out. do you think? I I think it's Robert the Doll. To oh, be really? Honest. I'm going with my memory though, okay. and it's faulty. Let's see. It was Robert the Doll. Oh, okay. Boogeyman is out, crushed, and I think you're on the wrong side of history, in my opinion. But I think I... you voted Robert the Doll, and yes. the boogeyman deserved a better shake. Well, I knew that I voted Robert the Doll, but I didn't think that the majority of people did as well. All I'm saying is you make me sick. The Boogeyman's fine. The Boogeyman's... Like the Boogeyman. The, bo- the Boogeyman is great. Yeah. And the Boogeyman deserves a better shot. Eh. I'm, I'm, there are a few disturbances in this to me, and this is one of them. <laughs> I, I guess I'm, I'm middling on Boogeyman. All right. Well, let's see yeah. what happens next. We've got Count Dracula versus the Kraken. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> a giant underwater octopus thing that yeah. eats ships and sailors or the kraken Dracula. yeah that's your joke <laughs> yeah, <it is. laughs> um do you remember do you know i do not know i do not know Cracula. Cracula. uh <laughs> count draken man what do i think people would have voted for i think people would vote for dracula but only on prestige I don't, I don't think Count Dracula is really part of any conversation today. I mean, really, right? <laughs> Am I Dracula's wrong? Dracula's not part of the cultural conversation. <laughs> He's not. No, I think yeah. you're right. Uh, yeah, maybe Dracula. I just think Dracula's more interesting than a kraken. Yeah. Even if people, even if he has been slightly more modern, I right, think. Right, right. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Dracula. Dracula coming in with 76% of the vote. That's right. So let's move on now to Chucky versus the Men in Black. I think Chucky. I think Chucky, too. Yeah. I, I think Chucky is sort of beloved. Yes. Uh, <sighs> now, this, it seems... And Men in Black's our... time has passed, hasn't it? Yeah, even though the Men in Black movies do kick ass. Yeah. Um, yeah, their time has kind of come and gone. That attempt at a reboot, I think, didn't go so hot. Right. So I think for now, it's a sleeping dog. We've decided to let lie. And, and not Chucky unlike, has... But William, not unlike Dracula, not part of the cultural conversation. You're right. And yet, Dracula swept. But I do think that Chucky has a place in modern pop culture. Oh, for There's sure. There's a new Chucky show. It's, yeah. It's pretty culty, but... Yeah. People seem to really like it. It's a awesome. second season comes soon, I think, in the next month. I think so, too. Um, I'm going to say Chucky. Yeah, me too. But you know what? Let's see what the people say. Whoa! Yeah, this was a shock. Whoa! This was that a shock. That is shocking. This I only remembered because I remember building this part of the graphic. Um, uh, 92% wow. men in black. Wow. I am super surprised by that. It's pretty surprising. Huh. It's pretty surprising. I mean, I people, I hear you. I I. I Men in Black's awesome. Just pick your but job off the floor. I That's, know. We got now uh, moving up a tier. Okay. Bloody Mary versus Robert the Doll. <laughs> I mean. I, I still don't get. There are a few characters, creatures, hauntings that I just don't get. Uh-huh. My brain won't absorb them. They don't compute, even though I know people love them. And Robert the Doll is one of them. I'm looking at this spongy doll <laughs> in, a, in a little spongy. sailor suit. And I just think, I don't know why everybody latched onto this and likes it. I don't it's a good fun story because there there are I don't remember it exactly but like one of the legends behind it is that he was like a replica of a little boy that the little boy carried around and then 
uh, you know, stuff started happening. It, it's a spin on, I was about to say it's a spin on Annabelle, which is not totally true, but people love a haunted doll. They they do, but that's my point, is that I, yeah. I just think it feels too familiar. But, like, Robert yet, the uh, Doll got 64% of the vote and Chucky got eight. It's a good story. There's a, It's a good aesthetic. You I know? think it looks horrible. He's giving coastal grandma. <laughs> I think it looks horrible. Um, no, it. I don't know. Coast, I'm into it. Coastal. Do you know about that? No, I oh. don't. But I, 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 is it Lucille Bluth essentially? Yeah, yeah. It, a trend fashion wise this summer has been coastal. Grandma. Is that right? <laughs> Somewhat jokingly, but yes, that's great. Yeah. So Bloody Mary or Robert the Doll? Bloody Mary. Yeah. I mean, I do really like Robert the Doll, but Bloody Mary's awesome. Listen, Robert the Doll R D is great, but I gotta go B M. <laughs> Hey, you and me both. I'll be right back. All right. And Bloody Mary takes it 77%. Yep. Yep. So Dracula versus the Men in Black. I mean, look, Drac v. Black. Everything I thought I knew about this pair of brackets has been thrown by I Men know. in Black's upset of a victory. Uh, but when faced with Dracula, I know. I think I'm still going to go Dracula. I think I'm going to go Men in Black. Okay. I think the people have spoken, and for some reason, they love the men in black so much. This is much. so surprising. Or they hate Chucky. I'm not sure which, but let's yeah. find out. It was close. It was very close. Wow. It was close. Men in black, 53% against Dracula's I mean, 47. I don't, I don't know why I'm that surprised because, again, I, I stand with you. I know. A, a fellow men in black fan. I guess I just didn't know the, the 2022 passion that was still out there. That's a little surprising. Not mad at it. No. But so... Bloody Mary versus Men in Black now. I would now. be a fool. I'd be a... F well, well they, they each, though, when you get to this point, when they're almost in the finale, they've each had two wins right. under their belts. I know. And one of Men in Black's was so huge, and the other was very close. Hmm. I'm going Bloody Mary. I am, too. I'm going Bloody Mary. I, I think too. she's just too awesome and yeah. too spooky. And speaks to a place inside us where we right. are still scared children. Right. Right. I think Bloody Mary to me is Boogeyman to you. Like I can see that. Yeah. I can see that. Yeah, I, I'm down with that. Bloody Mary, by the way, is from Guide to the Unknown 22. Cool. Good and early. And she takes it. Yep. She takes it 68% to 32%. All right. And the road to the semifinals twists on. All right. <laughs> this is going to be a haymaker. Gnomes versus Sadako slash Samara I don't of the like ring. it when I see this gnome. This is a gnome that I've seen before. <laughs> yeah. It's like a garden gnome yeah. who's laying on his side on a forearm and like I don't know. Little mm. both both Looks cocky. unfriendly and come hither. Yes, yeah, so he's got big gnome energy. Yeah, he's got major big gnome energy. But versus Sadako. I know. I remember this one. I, I did not I'm not sure that I voted on one hundred percent of these things. You did totally I have the stats on that as well. You you abstained. <laughs> I don't go on times. Facebook a lot. We need to we need to get people out there and voting is my point and you were part of the problem <laughs> you're right <laughs> um i do remember this was hard for me because i enjoy gnomes yeah uh, but also sadako is <laughs> awesome for me because i enjoy gnomes I do. has that sense ever been said before? i like i like i like gnome lore yeah, and yeah. stories i like the fey folk yeah who's more fey than this guy sure um, I think I ultimately went Sadako because this is who could like kick each other's ass, sort of, right? A little so. bit, or just like your fondness for yeah, the character I know. overall. I I got my my gut, my heart has always been with Sadako. What Samara. did I do, Sadako? Uh, let me see. Oh, it's okay if you don't know. I I, I, I literally I have all of our votes. Okay. Uh, so what did we do here? Robert the Doll, Boogeyman. Where are we at? Had the, uh, no, we're not there yet. Whatever. Maybe it's I, fine. I, I don't think I have it right in front of me this okay. second. But uh, certainly I've got to go Samara Sadako. Mm -hmm. I think that she is scary. Yeah. Like very, very, very scary. Mm -hmm. um, you did not vote. Okay. I have this. Um, but I did vote Sadako. <laughs> I remember seeing this. So maybe I was just locked in my own head until I had to just shut you the just laptop. You just couldn't decide. Yeah. Well, Samara did take it 80% to 20%. Nice. Nice clean number. Yeah. Uh, now we've got Wendigo mm. versus the Rokurokubi. Nice. Which I remember back in the day being, I called it scary head monsters because I just didn't, I didn't know yeah, if people would, would know. We were too new. I didn't know if people would even want to go with us to some place like super obscure. Mm -hmm. But I, I love the idea of the Rokurokubi. This this notion, they're the long necked sort of ghosts. It's a Japanese folkloric yeah. kind of creature that you might become where your your head can like float around and visit people and your neck distends. Right. Yeah. Right. 
um, versus a Wendigo, which is a, a weird forest creature right. that is, I guess you wouldn't say cannibalistic, but meat eating. Yes. Yeah, it wants to attack you. Yeah, my my gut is with uh, always with Roku Akubi, but I almost feel like similar to you with Robert the Doll, mm -hmm. I picked it out of my own personal fondness, even if right. I think the majority probably went with Wendigo. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I, I guess I think maybe the majority went with Wendigo. It's kind of close for me, though. Yeah, let's see. Yeah. Yeah, Wendigo. Okay. Easily, easily Wendigo. Yeah, 81%. Yeah, nobody knows the Roku or Kubi, mm -hmm. but I just think it's so... It, it's, it's very it cool. It sings to me. It just scares me. Yeah. It very much scares me. All right, this one. Tulpas mm -hmm. versus the Sandman. Yeah. Now, we were talking about the Sandman. I have I know nothing about the Neil Gaiman Sandman. There's a new show. No, I don't out, either. But Ryan's I, watching it like halfway. I hear it's great. I've had multiple people tell me I need to watch it. Mm -hmm. But So I picked the Neil Gaiman character just for familiarity's sake. Yeah, for I the, believe the we graphic were, that's on the screen is what he's talking about. Yeah, but I believe we were talking about the like guy who sprinkles sand in your eyes makes you go to sleep. Yeah. I don't know if they're the same or not. Whatever. I don't think so. Tulpas or the Sandman? I feel like talk about tulpas... And egregores, which are the same thing, is kind of hot right now I agree. in the paranormal world. So I'm going to say Tulpa is what most people chose. I do remember who wins this. Okay. But also, I firmly agree with you. I think that Tulpas mm -hmm. are having something They're having of a, a moment. moment. Yeah. And so, yep, 88% yeah. versus 12%. Mm -hmm. Cool. All right. <laughs> toilet monsters, as represented by a ghoulie popping out of a toilet bowl. With a six pack. Don't like that. Don't like that either. You're right. Gross. Versus Gozer the Gozerian. Gozer. Gozer. Gotta go Gozy. We love Toilet Monsters, yeah. but I'm sorry. Gozer yeah. is, is too cool. That Although was, it was close. That was close. Gozer won with 52%. Yeah. Damn. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. So we move up a tier. Sadako slash Samara versus right. Wendigos. I think Sadako slash Samara. I agree. I think the Wendigo is cool. Yeah. But, but I, think, when... I think when you think about the ring and the image of the kid coming out of the television, right. it's just too familiar and spooky yeah it's such a heavy hitter and we were right yes but again another close one yep same percentage actually 52 versus yeah. 48 all right tulpas versus gozer i think i don't know if tulpas can go the distance here against gozer again i, I agree gozer. with you again i agree with you and okay. i want to Oh! But very close, 52-48 in favor of Tulpas. Didn't remember that. Okay. Didn't remember that at all. So now... All right, Sadako slash Samara versus Tulpas. Who's going to get to the semifinal? I think the road to success is paved with Sadako. I agree. Okay. I agree. I think it's a soggy, yeah. sloppy, wet road. Sodden dirt. And we're correct. 70% yep. versus the Tulpas, 30. Nice. All right, but who's going to join? Okay. We've got man-eating trees. <laughs> Versus the Watcher. Oh, nice. <laughs> There's no image of the Watcher. Yeah, right. Because so. he's a real life like yeah. person who sends you scary letters. So I just got a guy with binoculars. I don't know. Like it was, it was, it was late. Yeah, yeah. Like, leave me alone. No. Okay. Um, I think the Watcher. I think the Watcher too. I think man eating yeah. trees is too ambiguous. Right. Um, I've got one of the trees from Wizard of Oz, but mm -hmm. I don't even remember the episode. Was it like we were talking about evil dead trees or? No, it was early enough on that you just had the topic of man-eating trees. Just like here are some it, scary it was trees. a Blackwood tie-in. Was it, was it meant to be or very early yes. on I remember I used to just like say things that referenced work of mine that hadn't even come out yet. Oh. I, th I don't know. I'm not I sure. used to constantly just be like, I love I a scary tree. Can you imagine a burned black tree? I know. And no one knew what I was talking about. <laughs> uh, well, let's see. Yeah. The Watcher. The Watcher. People love the Watcher story, myself included. I know. I always, I, I, I look for updates periodically, and I never really see one. I no. may or may not be writing a story uh, mm -hmm. inspired by The Watcher mm. right now. Mm, I would say that means a may. Yeah, for so money. why else would you say anything? Yeah, for money. Right. I read it. Filthy, right. dirty, Are you a stinking writer? money. Oh, did I mention that I'm a... Uh, <laughs> Writer. <laughs> All right, the Loveland Frogman versus Freddy Krueger. <laughs> I hope it doesn't dream, that Frogman. Yeah, I know he's in big trouble. It's got to be Freddy. It's got to be Freddy. No one knows yeah. the Loveland Frogman. Right. Yeah, sixty percent. Although not the, bad. Uh, the Frogman put up a better fight than I thought. Forty percent of the vote with those he got. little little leggies. I know. All right, mermaids versus Godzilla. This is a weird bracket we got here. <laughs> Now, Godzilla can go underwater, and I bet he could eat a mermaid. <laughs> I bet he could. I guess Godzilla. I think mermaids. Yeah, I don't feel really confident I, about I this. I think that people don't care about Godzilla, and I think it would be funny to vote for a mermaid. That could be. Therefore, that could be. I think people may have voted mermaid. That's a good thought. 
Yeah, you're right. Eighty percent, twenty percent. I didn't remember that, by the way. Yeah. Um, okay, Bigfoot Ooh. versus Blair Witch. Ooey, ouchie, ooey. It's a hard one. Yeah, that is a hard I one. I think because Bigfoot deserves respect. Yeah, it's a, put some a respect classic. on his name, of course. And uh, interestingly, worth pointing out, Eduardo Sanchez, mm-hmm. co-creator of Blair Witch is a giant Bigfoot nut. Yeah. And I think that there are certainly, certainly uh, um, uh, uh, influences of the Patterson-Gimlin Bigfoot footage mm-hmm. in the Blair Witch Project. Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. Uh, Blair Witch. I've always been Blair of Witch. Course. 81% yeah. to 19%. Yep. All right, we're moving up. Okay. Witcher. Witcher. <laughs> the Watcher versus Freddy Krueger. I, I, I want to go Watcher. I still think he's popular. I think still Freddy. And I think Freddy Krueger hasn't been around in a million years. I de- there, I there definitely, are no Freddy movies. There's nothing. I definitely hear that, but ba- he's almost synonymous with the idea of horror movies. He's I know. one of the biggies. It's true. But so that's my guess. Yeah, let's see. The Watcher. Watcher. The Watcher took yeah, it Yeah, you have your finger, finger on the pulse here. Also, I built this. No, but still. I know. You're right. Um, all right, Mermaids versus Blair Witch. I think Blair Witch. Blair here. Witch. Easy, yeah. easy, easy. Yeah. 75 25. 75 25. So right. Watcher versus Blair Witch. Yeah. I'm going Blair Witch. Blair Witch. If Blair Witch is there, right. it's getting my vote. Yeah. Although you'll see it's going to start getting a lot dicier. Oh, of course. Yeah. And we're halfway mm-hmm. to the semifinal. And once we get right. there, it's going to go real fast because it's only a few right. things. So let me take a quick second as we're yeah. midway through the road to the semifinal. I think it's a good idea for us to all take a breath. Yes. Take a breath. Everybody relax. Take mm-hmm. stock of where you are. Feel mm-hmm. your feelings. Yep. Uh, thank you all so much for continuing with us on uh, our, our little trajectory here through Guide to the Unknown. Yeah, on our way to 1,000. Uh, we're so close. We're like halfway to 1,000 here at 250. Right. But here's the thing. We don't actually have 250 episodes. We have so many more. Yeah. I think if you look at That's the... True. I think if you look at the bare feed of Guide to the Unknown itself, it's like 270 because occasionally we've put out little things here and there that aren't official entries. Right. But also because of our Patreon where we are easily into the 70s, mm-hmm. the yeah. early 70s and episodes there. Yeah. So if you only listen to Guide to the Unknown on the main feeds, mm-hmm. you're missing out on That's a right. gigantic chunk of shows. Go check out patreon.com slash GTTU pod. Uh, consider backing us. We've got different tiers for different uh, uh, sort of like rewards, as they say. Mm-hmm. No matter which tier you pick, you're almost guaranteed to get access to a bunch of material, especially yeah. starting at the ghost tier on up. You might get as many as a new show every single week. That's right. We have a whole separate podcast that comes out every Monday called The Netherworld Dispatch yep. that you can take advantage of if you're part of us on patreon demon tier takes all Mm -hmm. this past monday we uh played more fatal frame yep this is a uh, a horror video game that we've been playing a very found footage game where you use a camera to fight monsters yeah it's very cool and uh it's been great but i feel like we got to a decent place to jump ship yeah uh so you can watch us get to that finale hear our sort of like thoughts on it and everything Mm -hmm. um and this coming monday we just recorded it we took a look at new horror news which is not something that we've done before um we looked at some of the the headlines some recent stuff that's been announced um about uh horror franchises like scream Mm -hmm. the new scream sequel that's on the way yeah um the new dead evil dead halloween and Mm -hmm. we wrapped up the episode talking about orphan first kill and kept it toward the end of the episode because we go into spoiler territory. So if you've watched that movie, you might enjoy listening to that. That's right. So go check all that stuff out. That's patreon.com slash GTTU pod. Mm-hmm. Um, and also to celebrate episode 250, um, we've got another uh, fun thing. Yeah. We just posted this literally minutes before we went live with this episode. This is a t-shirt design up on our tea public. Uh, that comes to us courtesy of Elliot Junkyard, another yeah. listener. So thank you to everybody who backs us. We got like very creative. Oh yeah, like great people who <laughs> listen to the show and and send us fun ideas. And this was a bingo card uh, concept that Elliot had posted uh, that we reached out and asked, like, would would you be cool if we turn this into mm-hmm. uh, something on our T public? And, right. and yeah, they, we they struck were all a for devil's it. bargain with Elliot and got to use it yeah so you can find that at tpublic.com slash user slash gttu pod along with other merch if you're interested yeah go check it out mm-hmm. um maybe we'll cut this out of the finished version but for some reason the website just went down as i was trying to show more of the well, design tpublic is down oh okay well what are you gonna do 
Well, you saw it for a second. Right. It's real. <laughs> Wait a minute. I wonder if I can pull up. No, something seems wrong. Okay. Forget the internet. We don't need it. We never did. Right. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> go check out our new t-shirt design, everybody, if you can see it. Hold on a second. Just for people who are watching live, because I do think, I, I, if you don't mind, in the audio version. It's already done. It. Okay. Yeah. Um, I just want to put the design back up on the screen. Okay. If Public can't do it, guess what? We can. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, T Public may be down, but we're the best. <laughs> so this is the Guide to the Unknown bingo card design. Coming at you. Okay. Right now. Now. There it is. There it is. So yep. you can see uh, we've got different squares for uh, different things that we might reference on the show, which is kind of fun. Yeah. Uh, Muppets, using the phrase celebratory skeptic, scream, Will does an impression, Ghostbusters, ride with me for my pleasure. Yeah. <laughs> Rosemary's Baby, Blackwood, Saw, Twin Peaks, it goes on and on and on. Uh, different ideas that, that Elliot that... had of like mainstay sort of things that tend to pop up on every episode of the show. And uh, so you can sort of play your own game to see if, uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what you do. <laughs> <But> <laughs> and it, and all, all odds are that we're going to probably hit all of those spaces in any given episode. Yeah, you can choose a treat for yourself if you get bingo. That's right. So if Public is working, go to tpublic.com yep. slash user slash GTTU pod. You can get that design and a bunch of other stuff. Go check yep. it out. And thank you again to Elliot Junkyard for yes. the idea. Um, this is a, a power to the listeners. Truly. We no say, kidding. we say, damn it. Yep. All right. So let's And get... also go to the myth traveler.com. Oh, thank you. Of course. Thank where Will is putting out his writing. He's doing really fun live streams and he has options for both free stuff and paid subscribers who get the skinny on what he's working on before it gets public. And it's super, super cool. Yeah. This has been fun. I, 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 um, Every Monday, I've been doing what I call Mythic Monday, where I play an hour of like a public video game mm -hmm. and then do another hour where I work on a writing project. I've yeah. always loved the idea of finding a way to take writing and turn it into performance. Yeah. It's almost impossible to do, it mm -hmm. feels, but I've been doing it for a few weeks now. Yeah. So um, only people who... I, I've had a few people that have been following me into the private streams, these secret streams, as I call them, as I'm working on a little project that I plan to release, and it's been fun. I do some scripting, yeah. show you how I break down a story. I'm not going to pretend to be the end-all, be-all of writing knowledge, but this is just the way that I tend to do yeah, things. Yeah, I think it's awesome to share that. Yeah, and I've also got new horror stories that I've been posting. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, go check it out, themythtraveler.com. Thank you so much, Chrissy. It's super cool. Yeah, of course. So it's a lot of fun to do, and I, I hope that people in, enjoy people it. seem to be enjoying it my biggest so it's not even just a hope my biggest weakness i think is in like marketing myself mm -hmm. or, or getting the the word out or something like that but i just hope people enjoy i think it. you do a good job of it i try yeah but, i don't think that's a weakness of yours at all i disagree okay but thank you <laughs> you're welcome <laughs> all right let's continue into the bracket yeah all right so this is our next battle krampus mm. versus jersey devil Okay. Similar to Blair Witch, I, I think we, I, I would anticipate Jersey Devil just taking Same. it. Same. Krampus Same. is a fun character, but sort of like a joke that people like him. Yeah. And I think Jersey it's Devil not, is. It's not a hard hitter. No. And I really. think Jersey At Devil least, has cred. Yeah, not matched with something like the Jersey Devil. So, yes. And I think that's the case for a lot of these battles. If they were up against someone else, they might take it. Mm-hmm. Right. But this is this is how our god Finn Doyle laid it out. That's this is right. How it shall so be. we must just defer to the way that they have put this together. That's correct. And so, yep, Jersey Devil wins it, sixty-five percent. Nice. All right, now we've got the Yule Lads. Okay. Versus the Mummy. <laughs> this is a movie I'd like to watch. There are many Yule Lads to be yeah. devoured and have their life essence stolen by a mummy. Yule Lad v Mummy. Pot liquor and. That's sausage right. stinker. Yes, it was like sausage stealer or something. Yeah. Um, uh, mummy. I think, I, the think mummy. The, I think the mummy, too. Hugh think... Lads, I could see Hugh not even remembering what that is. Exactly. I think it's just the obscurity. Right. And yeah, the mummy takes it 75%. Yep. Now, I think this would be a tough one for people. I think so, too. Kayako yeah. of The Grudge versus Annabelle. Another scary doll. People love right. that. Right. And But here's the thing. I think Kayako mm -hmm. is like a fear. Yeah. She is like a boogeyman. Like she, I think, evokes 
a, a real visceral feeling in people. I know yeah. that literally as I was putting this bracket together and I had to look up pictures of Kayako. You started crying. Started crying and screaming. Yeah. <laughs> it was it was late. Mm-hmm. I was alone. And I swear to God, anytime I think about Kayako or like look at her image, I'm like, oh God, I shouldn't, I shouldn't have looked at this right now. Yeah. I'm going to have to like go bring the garbage in later. I'm going to be scared. <laughs> yeah. um, you bring the garbage in? I, I left the empty can in the street. <laughs> no, I know. I know what you meant. I go find some garbage and I bring it into my house. I go bring the garbage in. I got to bring the garbage in. There's no garbage in here anymore. I ate it all. Yeah. Um, Kayako. Always Kayako. Mm-hmm. 70%. 70, 30. That's actually more than I would have thought, though, to tell you the truth. I, I think I, not so much more. I think I would have guessed a little bit more of a 60-40 with yeah. Kayako and Annabelle. I just think maybe Annabelle's moment has sort of I was about of to say that. Passed. I think perhaps Annabelle fatigue has set in. I think so. Mm-hmm. All right. This is a weird one. Ew, I don't like this. No, what neither is it? do I. This is Scary Texas Ladies. This was an episode that we did a long time yeah. ago. Yeah. I covered this. I don't know. But but this is an image of the donkey woman. Okay. Oh. I know. Um, but so Scary Texas Ladies versus... Slender Man. I think Slender Man. Nothing could be in this pairing. Yeah. You would need a big heavy hitter to. You'd need essentially a Kayako. Slender Man's to, a big boy. Slender Man. Let's say. Well, we'll see what happens with we'll that. We'll see. Yeah. yeah. E- easy. 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 Eighty-four to sixteen. Slender Man. That's right. All right. Jersey Devil v Mummy. <laughs> I think Jersey Devil. I think it's Jersey so much Devil more fun too. and cool. I think I think the Mummy can defeat the Yule Lads. Yeah, absolutely. But I don't think the Mummy has the the heat. The oomph. Jersey Devil is like horror cryptid royalty. Absolutely. And yeah, fi- oh, it's pretty close. I'm, though. I'm shocked by how close it is to be 55, honest. Fifty-five, forty-five. But remember, people love the Mummy movies. You say that. They do. I've seen people talk about it. God, you love a Mummy. No, I don't. Yeah, you do. You've said you like The Mummy before. No, I... Yeah, no, I said I don't like The Mummy, and I said that I like the Tom Cruise Mummy more than The Mummy. Why did I think you said you liked The Mummy? I don't know. You could have sworn. <laughs> well, I said I liked the Tom Cruise Mummy. But maybe that's why. That's it probably is why. baffling. And so maybe that's why I'm saying, like, oh, I know people like The Mummy, because I got a lot of feedback on that. It is baffling and confusing. Well, not if you've seen them both, Will, and I if you have any taste. Sure. That's right, everybody. I'm inviting you to come at me. <laughs> no, don't. Don't. Um, all right. We've now got Kayako v. Slenderman. I would always go Kayako. I know, but I'm me not too much. sure. Hmm. Me not so sure. I'm going to say Slender Man. I think... I don't remember. I think you might be right. Mm-hmm. But my gut is that Slender Man is an idea. And Kayako is an actual character. That's true. But I don't know if people are thinking about that when they're voting. Even if they're not literally thinking it, are they feeling it? You know? Well, let's see. Mm. Time to find out. Okay. Kayako. Yeah, Kayako won. Okay. All right. 66% to 34. Yeah. And it uh, fairly big. No. A that's... wider margin than I would have thought. Yeah, Kayako me too. wins. Yeah, because Slender Man's such it feels like everybody knows what Slender Man is. Even I, if I you agree. Like, don't really know horror stuff. But if you, but I don't know anything about him. Is there anything to know? He lives in a mansion in the woods. I know. You gotta well, kill to mm, that to live in the Slender Mansion. But that I think was a wrinkle added by that horrific event but were, no, the weren't they doing it in order to yes but i had never heard that yeah as being part of the slender man character until they said it well no but they i think they read it like really? they didn't like make that up that was like part of the lore that they had read and were working off of well they, that in and of itself i think is part of my issue with a slender man battle here because there are so it's many too different... democratized yeah there are probably 50 different slender man lores i think so and Kayako has been rebooted, but mm-hmm. we know what she is. Yeah. Um, a lot of modern internet monsters, the, 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 the folkloric evolution of the story gets so unwieldy when they're popular. You don't right. even know what the lore is anymore. Right. And that's how Kayako won, yeah. I think. So Jersey Devil v. Kayako. I go Jersey Devil. I go Kayako. Okay. I'm telling you, I see Kayako. She scares the shit out of me. Right. I love it. I, you know, I, I think Kayako's awesome, but I, I can't lie. I'm not, like, obsessed with Kayako. I think she's very cool and scary, though. She just um, speaks to me. She scares me so much. <laughs> I I totally, I mean, she is scary. But the Jersey Devil is both interesting and, like, 
cozy to me. Yeah, yeah. And just really fun and cool. We got to go to the Pine Barrens. Definitely. That's what we got to do. Um, so I'm going to select Jersey Devil. All right, let's see who's going to the semifinal. <laughs> I think this vacillates a lot between us guessing what we think other people guessed and what we want. There's yeah. really no rhyme or reason to what we're selecting here broadly. No. But that's okay. I think that's okay. Yeah. But you were you were right, Kristen. Okay. Jersey Devil won. But it was close. Very close. It was close. Only 55-45. 55-45. Uh, arguably real folklore versus fictional character. Right. Even though real folklore is probably fictional. Yes. But Jersey Devil takes it. Okay. We'll see him again in the semifinal. Yeah. See you later, bud. Davy Jones versus both Pamela and Jason Voorhees. <laughs> I think Pamela and Jason Voorhees. Ah. Uh, I think David Jones kind of neat, but so antiquated. He's neat, so yeah. antiquated. Yeah, it was it was tight. Wow, fifty-two percent. Pamela and Jason Voorhees. That's another real surprise to me. It is. Yeah. Um. All right. Mothman versus the Ney Rouge. An obscure man. Yeah. The Ney Rouge is just something it's that cool. I have a fondness for because Bobby and I were working on a story that involved the character once. Yeah. Mothman is a juggernaut. Yes. So <laughs> I. A superstar, inarguably. I know for a fact I voted for the Ney Rouge in yeah. the moment. I uh, I know for a. The Mothman takes it. Yeah. Has it to. may be the widest margin. Let's see. Mm. No, oh. not even. The Men in Black kicked ass harder than the Mothman, who wins with 87%. Wow. Huh. All right, Banshees. Okay. <laughs> Do you have it looks any? Like you picked like a, a somebody at like a rave. Yeah. For the Banshee. Image. The Banshee image is, is rough. A lot yeah. of these I depict Creative Commons images. No, yeah. Uh, but this looks like um, when like like somebody publishes their own book. Yeah, it does kind of look like, like that. Weird Photoshop of kind of just a lady. Or screaming. it looks like you know that really famous video of a bunch of like techno goths like under doing the a bridge. dance under a bridge it kind of looks like one of them you're absolutely right yeah, yeah. <laughs> yep the modern edgy horror people the new metal horror people yeah. Yeah. i don't know if that's modern and edgy well whatever <laughs> yeah uh do you know what this image the banshees up against is <laughs> do you have any idea it was your doing it's, i'll give you that it's so it's like a shadowy figure seen in a doorway uh is it is it the hat man? No. What is it? This is the black monk of Pontefract. Oh, This okay. is purported okay. to be an actual ghostly image of right. the black monk of Pontefract. Oh, okay. Um, I think Banshees. Banshees easily. Yes. <laughs> 90% yeah. to 10%. Although I did like that story. I, if I remember correctly, I think the house that that took place in, they turned into something of a B&B, but yeah. you have to bring your own sleeping bag and stuff. And it's like a weird, That's pretty wild. weird setup. I think it had like an old '90s website. Um, I remember enjoying that. Yeah, I think that. you're right about that. But yeah, banshees are yeah. just too big to yeah. too big to fail. Right. All right, dragons versus the Flatwood Monster. I think the Flatwood Monster is also having a minor moment. I agree, and I so, think similar to the Jersey Devil, there's sort of yeah. a dragons screams fantasy, which yes, obviously more than horror. is humongous. Yeah. But I think for our crowd, I would think Flatwood's monster. Yeah. Let's take a looky. Yep. Yep. Flatwoods yep, yep, Monster, yep. 73% win. All right. Moving on up. Pamela and Jason Voorhees versus the Mothman. I think such is the fervor for Mothman I know. that he's got to take it. I don't quite get it, but yeah. I agree with you. 82% yeah. Mothman. Mm -hmm. Banshees versus Flatwood Monster. I think Banshees. I, I would think, think Banshees. Banshees too. Once you get up to this level, right. where it's a little tighter, yeah. I think Banshees are easier to wrap your head around. And Flatwoods Monster is yeah. just like, is it a UFO? Is it a robot? And you also might just not really remember. I don't really remember the story. Agreed. Uh, so There's I not would... a story you need to know for Banshees. No. It's just a thing. Yeah, and you're like, oh, that's sweet. Yeah, yeah. 80% Banshees. So here mm -hmm. we go. Mothman v. Banshee. I have to think Mothman is unbeatable. I agree with you. Yeah. I, I think I, I don't understand, but people yeah. love that thing. Whoa! 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 It's Banshees. It's tight though. Banshees wins with fifty-two percent. Fifty-two percent. You know, I'm happy. I love them both. I do love the Mothman. I'm happy to see it. Banshees are really cool. I did Banshees. That was early on. It was Bigfoot and Banshees. We did. Uh -huh. I think. No. I don't know. Whatever. I love. Yeah. Banshees. Especially the way that we covered them. We dug into the lore and they said it was like yeah. an old washwoman who was I found drowned. a bunch of 
a bunch of info, I think, on CelticWeddingRings.com. That's right. Was yes. my source. And then I used that source again for our um, Irish episode. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, all right, we've got ghosts uh -huh. versus women in white. La Yarona, essentially. I <laughs> hmm. I think I want to. I think I want to pick the classicness of ghosts. Right. And also La Yarona, women in white are kind of our ghosts. A lot um, of things are technically ghosts, though. But right. <clears throat> but I think ghosts. Ghosts speak to me. Yeah. Ghosts are like the thing that I enjoy above all. Mm -hmm. Really. And yeah. Yeah, Every, everybody seemed to be on our page. 73% ghost. Ghost supremacy here on Guides the Unknown. They're our favorite. All right. Jigsaw versus brownies. <laughs> it's a shame so that this, this wasn't... Tough. It's a shame this wasn't Daniel Stern. Yeah, One of our I favorite know. episodes of the show is Daniel Stern and... The and brownies. Brownies and Daniel Stern, I believe it was called. Yeah, that's a great episode. That's a great episode. But Jigsaw versus brownies. I think this is... We've seen this several rounds now. Most people probably don't even know what the hell brownies are. Yeah, maybe the movie thing tends to win. I think it's Jigsaw. I think so, too. Yeah. Whoa! You know, we do talk about brownies versus... So brownies wins with 60% of the vote. Mm. We do talk about it. I think Yeah, specifically because it's our crowd. Yeah. And we sort of put... We, we put... Listen, everybody. We put brownies on the map. Hell yeah. For an incredibly niche audience. Yes. <laughs> We, we talk about how we love brownies and Daniel Stern. It comes That's up true. sometimes. That is true. You know, not a ton, yeah. but that would keep it a little bit more top of mind than you might think otherwise, maybe. It's weird that I built this not that long ago, and I have no recollection of this one. At least I'm shocked that brownies won. Shocked. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, right. That's great. The Joker versus Candyman. I think Candyman. I think I, I think too. the Joker has been kind of cornified. Not there. There isn't also candy corn. I think there, there's fatigue. Yeah. Fatigue. So I think Candyman. Also, Candyman's a bit of slasher royalty. Yep. Although the the new sequel, like they they never announced like another one or anything. I'm a little surprised. I don't know. I mean, maybe they didn't intend to. So many of these requels end up feeling like dead ends. One last I don't attempt. Know. You know. I don't know. I I don't know if I I don't know if I feel that way. I would like, watch they another. Made, I certainly would too, but also maybe some people are like, the art of the single movie is not dead. That's true. And That's a good point. Maybe they just wanted it to they just, just be to make a Candy movie. Man. You're yeah. right about that. Yeah, can't. Whoa! Wow! Man, humongo margin. This is the biggest margin yet. Ninety-six percent. Four percent to the Joker. Sorry, Jokey. No one cared. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Leatherface versus the monster under your bed. Hmm. The idea of the monster under your bed. Yeah. Which I think is of a Bloody Mary. Yeah. Less of a face. Like, Bloody Mary, you think of, you, you can personify it's, her easier. Right. Uh, I, I think Leatherface. Really? I think so. I, I think people really like Leatherface. Let's see. No, yeah, this oh, is what wow. I remember. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah, 75% the monster under your bed. Cool. That's what I would go with. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right, ghosts versus brownies. Ghosts. Ghosts, uh, easy. Yeah, Love your They're brownies, huge. but yeah, eighty-seven yeah. percent. <laughs> I really like the image you chose for ghosts. Like it doesn't even have a <laughs> mouth or anything, but it somehow looks cheerful. Yeah, this is. I think ghosts. Yeah. In all their many forms, if it's somebody under a sheet with two eye holes cut out, if it's a wailing, translucent thing, mm -hmm. ghosts are awesome. Hell yeah! All right, Candyman versus the monster under your bed. I would give it to Candy. Candyman, yeah. I think this is where, again, on this level, I think you start getting like, well, what is the monster under your bed? I I can wrap right. my head, yeah, I can wrap my head around Candyman, right? Who takes sixty six percent of the vote? Awesome. But put Candyman up against a ghost. Now I, what? Now what? I go ghost still. You I thought go you were ghost, so smart. and I think that people will go ghost. But no. I couldn't agree more. I'm I'm going ghost. Okay. Ghost, 80%. Ghost takes it. Yeah. And look at these I margins. I mean, how can you... Look at how consistent Ghost has been. 73% against uh, Women in White. 87% against Brownies. 80% yep. against Candyman. Yeah. Ghosts go to the semifinal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was a pro-Ghost show. All right, this is going to be the last round before we start to get into the, the grand finale. Yeah. Essentially. Nitties to the gritties. Ghost face. Ooh, this is a toughie. Versus the Headless Horseman. I mean, I still go Ghost face. Right. But the Headless Horseman is friggin' awesome. The um, I, I think rules. Ghostman is what what won. With our audience in particular, yeah. the way that we talk about Ghostface, you'd think you would sweep. N which no? is why it's a shock. Wow. Round, out of the running. Out of the running. Round one loss, Ghostface. 
You know what? I remember I, Finn I, Doyle expressing shock and disdain. Yeah. I remember curling up on the floor. I'm disgusted. I was... No, that's really surprising stunned. that totally out of the running. But... I, he couldn't have to, lost to a better monster. Exactly. An extremely worthy opponent. If someone so. was going to take Ghostface out, I'm proud I'm very, that it was the Headless Horseman. Yes. Yeah. And Ghostface is multiple people. Ghostface is, at this point, ten humans or something like that? Yeah, but still. I know. But still, it's still surprising. It is. Okay. Um, oh, more, God. Maybe, maybe we'll have more to say about uh, Ghosty or Scream. So, yeah, who maybe. Knows? Who knows? Huh. All right, Poltergeists. Yeah. Forget the movie. This is the character Poltergeist. The I used an icon from the poster of the movie, but Poltergeist's the monster versus Jack Frost. Poltergeist. Yeah, I mean, what's to talk about? Yeah, 92%. 92. Uh, right. th- these, are, these are men in black numbers here. Yeah. <laughs> Goodbye, Jack Frost. Yeah. Susie Doll, complete with toilet. I'm so happy to see her. V Hat Man. Oh, man. It's it's Susie Doll for me. You know how I'm like I would always vote Kayako. Yeah. I would always vote against the Susie Doll. No, yeah. that was so good. I don't care who Susie Doll is up against. I'm voting against it. Why? I flush it. Why? Sit and spin. That story kid. is so good. I'm sorry. I think oh, she's gross nuts. looking, and being found on a toilet is weird. It's very weird. You're absolutely right. And not in a cool way. In a weird like what? Ghost still taking dumps. <laughs> It's, no, it's just, it's just making a mockery of the human form. Ain't you got better things to do, kid? Our meat bag and yeah. how disgusting we are. That is true. Um, but I think it probably was the hat man. It was the hat man. Yeah. I, I think I... Yeah, 78% it's hat man. quite a sweep. Yeah, smell you later, look Susie. I under, look, I understand. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta like deep clean this doll, you know? Yeah, it's made of paper mache. That's extremely porous. It's disgusting. Yeah. Loch Ness Monster versus Gremlins. Oh, that's a tough one. I picked the smarty Fraser Gremlin. Yeah. Um, I guess Gremlins. I, I don't really like either of these things. But what do we... Yeah, Gremlins. I think people would choose Gremlins. You voted against Gremlins. You voted Loch Ness Monster, despite having stated previously that you don't care for the Loch Ness Monster. Right. I but that. I also don't like Gremlins. I know. So I think for you, you had to pick the lesser of two evils. Right. Loch Ness Monster ah. took it 76% of the vote. Okay. Interesting. I thought people like really like Gremlins. But the Loch Ness Monster is also I one think, of the biggest cryptids out there. I think the story is not closed on Gremlins. I think that Gremlins will come back. They'll try another yeah. movie, and it might do well. That's what I think. I I think a lot of people really like Gremlins like it so yep i think uh, even more people are, are yet to be introduced to how great they really are i think many I people like you believe them to suck when actually they rule no i watched it and i found that they suck mm, you suck you suck all right headless horseman versus poltergeists i would go headless... i don't i don't remember this one i would go headless horseman yeah I, I would go headless horseman if headless horseman can defeat Ghostface, and can defeat a poltergeist right poltergeist wow i mean people love wow. ghosts has been proven to You're us. You're right. People love ghosts. Correctly so. Absolutely. So what do you take from that knowledge with Hatman versus Loch Ness Monster? Hatman. Yeah. Yeah. I think I yeah. I think I'm with yeah, wow. Uh-huh. Very similar. 25, yeah. 75%. So, ghost v ghost, poltergeists versus Hatman. I think I must say poltergeists. I agree with you, but why? I, I feel know. I'm feeling. I think Hat what Man's you're feeling. Hatman's a little more niche. Once you get him, the the ambiguity of Hatman was working for him. Yeah. But getting toward the semifinal, it starts to work against him. And Poltergeists, huge, albeit amorphous, mm-hmm. takes on significance. Right. And import. Right. I agree. Yeah. I, I think it's Poltergeists. Let's see. Poltergeists, but, but close. Very, expe- we should have expected that it would be this close, right? Right. Right, 55% win. I think you truly could understand some form of a trend from all this data. Yeah. Because they were, they were close, and we were talking about the power, and, and they, they were close the whole way through, basically. Right, right. But Poltergeist takes it. Yeah. So here we go. We're going into the semifinal now. Okay. We're going to start to pit some giant big guns against each other. Yeah. And we're about to, quite frankly, this is going to go fast, I think. Yeah, of course. Black-eyed children versus Bloody Mary. Only one can take it. I think Bloody Mary. I would pick Bloody Mary. Yeah. A hundred percent. And I think the people would as well. Let's see. Black Eyed Children. Okay. Black Eyed Children. I mean, Black Eyed Children have been very popular for the past few years. 
Yeah, that is true. But I so still I'm, I'm surprised. I'm surprised by that. Though. I know, and it's not as close as I would think either. Sixty five percent, a decent fight. Yeah. But Bloody Mary only got thirty five percent of the vote, despite wow. I think being a far scarier. I agree. Idea. I agree. Black children, I think, have thrived. And a legend. Have thrived on internet storytelling. Definitely. Bloody Mary used to thrive on word of mouth. Yeah. In the in the day and age of the internet, is she just done? She's not relevant. Yeah. Okay, Samara slash Sadako of the Ring. Yeah. Versus Blair Witch. Love this, the Ring, but nothing tops yeah, this is Blair quite, Witch to me. Quite easy for me. Yeah. Um, the Blair Witch. Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. Justice has been done. Okay. Seventy-seven percent of people agreed with us. Yeah. Blair Witch takes it, but now. What's going to happen? Black-eyed children versus Blair Witch. I still think Blair Witch. I would absolutely say Blair Witch. Yeah. I would absolutely well, say Well, yeah, Blair I mean Witch. that's my preference, but I also think the people would say Blair Witch too. But let's let's look at the lesson learned from Blair Witch versus Bloody Mary. Mm -hmm. Bloody Mary was how a horror story used to be told word of mouth. Right. Blair Witch was how a horror story was told in the 90s with found footage. Black-eyed children are how horror stories are told by people to each other online. Yeah. It's more pervasive. I still think Blair Witch. I think the iconic status means something. I think I remember who wins, mm -hmm. but also, I think, literally, I'm looking at a trend here. Yeah. Whoa! Black-eyed children take it. Albeit close. Okay, yeah. 54 to 46. Right. I also think the Blair Witch needs some new life. I think I think new blood. Uh-huh. Uh, I, 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 I think guess the, so, the Blair yeah. Witch needs new victims. I suppose so. All right. So it's that means, by the way, Black Eyed Children are going to the final. Yeah. So this is one of our final two competitors. Wow. Who are they going to be up against? That's what we're about to find out. Let's see. So we've got Jersey Devil versus Banshees now. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Does the does the the fame of the Jersey Devil carry it? The Jersey Devil's little face. I know. Very funny. Little horse head. Um, boy, what do this I is think? Hard. This is hard. I think I I think I still go Jersey Devil. I think I go Banshee. Okay. I think the image I picked for a Banshee right now, if anyone's watching the video <laughs> version, is working against it. <laughs> I think you're right. But no, I mean, Banshees are super cool. But Banshees are f terrifying. The Jersey Devil story is just, it's kind of chef's kiss. And, and it's such a big deal. Let this like you've said, child it, be a devil. Right. He's one of the presidents of the cryptids. Yeah. I, I, I think, He's on the board. Yeah, definitely. I think Jersey Devil. Let's see. Let's see. Banshees, okay. And, Banshee, and Banshees whipped hide. By quite an, a margin. They won with 73%. Okay. 73. I mean, awesome. All right. Now we've got ghosts versus poltergeists. <laughs> Arguably, poltergeists are a subset of ghosts. Yes, but again, you know, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Um, I think, yeah, have we learned nothing? I have. Ghosts. Learned ghosts nothing. kicked I'm... everybody's ass. I agree. Like extremely handily. I do agree. Yeah. I'm gonna say ghosts. Ghosts. Yep. Eighty three percent. Eighty three percent. Bye bye poltergeist. Go toss your plates somewhere else. Yeah. All right. So banshee, which could also be considered a subset of ghosts. Right. Versus ghost. I'm going ghost. I'm going ghost. I'm going ghost. I think sim. A what, proven what's winner. What's weird? What what I think worked against zombies early, where it's like anyone could become a zombie. I can't think of a zombie. Right. Right now, I'm not necessarily thinking about a particular ghost. Yeah. Just the the feeling they evoke, the classic nature of them. Yes, the concept of a ghost. They're the essence of all things. Right. And I think that that carries them. Basis for some of all of the best things. Yeah. What do you think? Ghosts. No question. 66% yeah. ghost. Yeah. So. Okay. So now we see. Now we know what's going on. We're in the final. Yeah. Are you ready? I'm, I'm a little concerned. Yeah. I, I'm ready. We've got Woo. black eyed children versus ghost. I mean. Time for your final argument. Really, because we're, we're about to reveal everything. All of Finn Doyle's work. Right. Everything that went into building the the mega monster madness it's finn doyle's brackets. guide to the unknown legacy correct that we're playing with here yes it's finn doyle's world we're just living in it right um what do you think black-eyed children versus ghosts i mean i think it's gonna be ghosts but i think there is something to be said for the way that the story of black-eyed children has spread in a viral manner 
and perhaps infected the minds and hearts of a lot of our listeners. Infected is right. I, I, I have to say that I am sort of in awe that Black Eyed Children have gotten to the final. I am too. They're, they're almost like a dark horse. I never could have, I never would have predicted this, ever. I know that they're very popular, but yeah. not to this degree. To this degree, but are would they you, popular if, enough? If you were to guess that, that uh, Ghostface doesn't even make it onto the board, and then Black Eyed Children makes it all the way? No, and especially this is where I you can have see. I you. No, this is where you can see the limitations of our power as well, because. Right. The, the idea that Ghostface didn't carry through and, and was a, a round one loss is shocking. Our influence. Now, I have the results. Yeah. I'm looking at the results right now on my phone. I'm looking at the poll itself. Okay. Where Finn Doyle had this to say. It's all come down to this. <laughs> From 64 iconic Guide to the Unknown topics, we've whittled down the cryptids, urban legends, folklore creatures, and horror characters to just two. We've had soaring heights. Finn Doyle's so good. I wonder if everybody thinks we made this up. No, this is all, this is a, a, a genuine. Finn is a real person. Yes. A universal rejection of the Joker with only 4% of the vote was considered a soaring height by Finn. And crashing, crushing lows. Ghostface defeated at the first hurdle. A shock. And now it's time to decide <laughs> your mega monster madness champion. Is it an urban legend from episode two? Black Eyed Children. Mm -hmm. Or the archetypical paranormal? Fo uh, a creature from episode 50 make your vote count and the people spoke yeah what do you speak i speak ghost you speak ghost now let's let's have our cake and eat it too okay are you saying you think the people picked ghost yes both. you pick ghost or both? both both i pick ghost and i think the people picked ghost as well i knowing the answer mm -hmm. i can divorce myself from that knowledge to tell you this okay i think there's a lesson to be learned from black-eyed children getting this far. Yeah. What that lesson is, I'm not sure. Okay. But what I've been saying about the black-eyed children learning over the course of this episode is that I think they are a representation of new horror, of right. internet horror, an idea proliferated on forums and in posts yes. and in creepy pastas, versus one of the oldest concepts to all mankind right you exist beyond death yes so new versus old and i think i have no choice but to pick old okay ghosts, ghosts. i got my eye on you ghosts william show us the results you got it sis Ghosts are ghosts. the winner of ghosts Mega Monster Madness. And Actually, I love that. I, I love it. I, I am so proud. Because both of us yeah. love ghosts. Yes. Uh, perhaps you've heard. And I love that it sounds like a lot of you are on the same page. Yeah. What better winner, icon. I, I know. Of the show. I, I, of, this of, all, is... of, of everything that we've covered. Yes. It's so cool that simply ghosts won. I our, love our that. Our life's work yeah. Everything that we've done up until this point, mm -hmm. uh, the first ever Mega Monster Madness winner. Right. Ghosts. It's it's only right. It's appropriate. Take a bow, Amazing. ghosties. Amazing. Ghosts everywhere. Yeah. If there are any ghosts listening, today oh. is for you. Take a bow. And I can tell you, literally looking at the stats right this second, Black Eyed Kids came in with a, a respectable, especially here at the end, 39%. I mean, they were up against a clobberer. Meaning so ghosts, you're going to get clobbered. Ghosts clobbered, indeed, with 61% right. of the vote. Um, I, That's I, very fun. This has been so much fun. It's been so much fun to see happening in the groups. Yes. Um, uh, for the Over the course of weeks. Mm -hmm. It's been fun to vote and see people talking in the comments. I, I've I've loved it. And thank yeah. you again to Finn Doyle for not only having the idea, but... Sticking it through, really yes. seeing it through to the uh, to the bitter end. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much, Finn. This was so much fun. Thank you all for voting in these polls in the Facebook group. Again, if you want to check that out, even though this activity is done, the group is facebook.com slash groups slash GTTU pod. And it's a really, obviously, a very cool group of people over there. And thank you to everybody who's just listened. Just, yeah. just listeners, viewers on YouTube. Thank you all for listening to the show and talking to us and supporting us. And it's amazing that we've been doing this for just about five years. I know. And 250 eps. 250 episodes. It's amazing. We wouldn't do it without that kind of no. community around it. Um, so really, thank you. We really, truly wouldn't. So thank you so much for 
vocally loving the show and talking to us and talking to other people about it yeah it's it's very meaningful and i've I've, we've we've periodically gotten like really warm messages from people out there who say you know how how they enjoy guide the unknown or it helps them get through a a hard time Mm -hmm. something like that and uh it is it is incredibly meaningful this is like a substantial like important part of my life yes mine too it's a huge Um, deal so yeah uh thank you so much again to finn doyle thank you to all of you as Kristen just said i echo her sentiments exactly um thank you to Kristen for 250 episodes plus 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 of doing this show it has been a joy um uh doing this every single week and not that we wouldn't have be spending any time with each other outside of guide the unknown but it is a wonderful excuse to yes. have for for your sibling to come over and and uh, your friend mm-hmm. to come over and shoot the shit about yeah. goofy stuff that you both love for an hour. Totally, it's awesome. It's well, it's it's a lot of fun. So, all right, everybody, we uh, 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 that's a wrap for now. Go check mm-hmm. out 249 earlier episodes. I'm yep. sure you can listen by next week. Yeah, go to Patreon.com/slash/gttupod to get 70 plus bonus shows. Um, Go to our T public to check mm-hmm. out that new design, the bingo card from Elliot Junkyard. Yeah. And uh, a huge thanks to the listeners, to the viewers, to everybody who's been with us. We, we greatly appreciate it. We greatly appreciate you. Uh, and we'll see you next week. Yes. As we uh, continue on the road. We're halfway to 1,000. Halfway to 1,000, baby. Kristen let's keep to say, going. Uh, let's see if we can make it. So here's yeah. to 250 more. We'll see you next time. Yep. But until that time comes, we must travel. Back to the netherworld go we. The road to 1,000. The road to 1,000 begins now. <laughs> Our crusade. Did, can you admit, did you screw that up initially, or did you no, say that intentionally no. just because it's funny? I said it intentionally because it's funny. Right. I thought of it like earlier today. <laughs> really? <Yeah. laughs> That's a funny thing to think about at the time. I know. It sounds so authentically. I know. Nope. You, you nailed it. You crushed it. Thank you. All right. <laughs>